So what do you do when you need a support inside of CADWorks and it's not there? Well, we're going to show you in this video. Welcome back to the channel. And like the intro said, in this video, we're going to show you how to add supports into uh, your model. Uh, this was uh, a suggestion by a viewer, and uh, so I'm finally bringing it to the channel. So you can put supports inside of your CADWorks model to do a couple of things. One, when it drops out the ISO, it'll show you where the supports are. Uh, also, when you drop out uh, the PCF file for the uh, uh, Caesar file, uh, those are located inside the model, uh, so that way the uh, stress group doesn't think that you're just supporting, you know, the pipe off of nothing. So, but sometimes that support that you need isn't in there, whether your CAD administrator hasn't built it, whether they don't have standards or you're a young startup and don't have time to build those, you know, inside the spec library. First, we're going to look at where do you find the spec viewer? So basically, uh, everyone knows about the spec view, okay, or at least you should. And again, we're on 2023, so this interface might look a little bit different, but the commands are still there in older versions of CADWorks. So if you go to uh, N22 and 23 and 24, for example, uh, you'll hit uh, this button right here, this pipe support modeler. So we're going to click on that. And then that will bring up this dialogue. Now this looks very old from uh, very similar to older versions of uh, CADWorks. They have not updated that uh, in the new, new user interface yet. Maybe in 24, I haven't checked. Um, so basically what you do, uh, we've got, uh, say we're gonna support this line right here. And we got a three inch line. Now I've got supports built uh, in my catalog. And so I have, you know, all kinds of different ones, but what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that these do not exist. Okay. We're going to go back to like the sample one that comes stock with inside of CADWorks. Uh, we're going to say it's going to be a three inch because we're supporting off of three inch. Okay. And we're going to look at, let that refresh real quick. And then we're going to say, you know, pipe support. So we've got a whole bunch of different ones. We got a clav uh, clevis support. You know, we got uh, a pipe clamp. We got a saddle. We got a strap and you bolt and so on, you know, but let's say the one that you're looking for is not here. Okay. So we're going to build a new assembly. Um, what you typically do is you go to the very top and you'll see the third button right here, create new assembly. Now we can click on this all day long. It's not going to work because it's grayed out. Uh, for whatever reason, maybe this catalog is locked. Uh, maybe you don't have access to it or whatever. Uh, so it will not allow you to create it. So if we switch over to uh, CADWorks pipe supports, you'll see that turns blue. Okay. So now you can actually click on that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do, you know, click on this one right here and it's going to come out and it's going to say new pipe port, new pipe support assembly, pick insertion point. Okay. So you go down to your model and you're going to pick on here and it's going to say give direction. So we're going to go down. Okay. And then it's going to come up with a create new assembly I, uh, dialog box. Okay. You see that there's no parts in here and then we've got some other properties and fields here. We'll cover that, you know, in a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on part. Okay. And the first thing that we're going to put is we're going to put a piece of pipe in there. Okay. So we're going to pipe, uh, and it's going to show you all the pipe support styles that are pipe support fittings that you have in your data file inside of your catalog. Okay. And so you have to have access to that catalog. So we're going to do pretend this is that none of these are here. And we're just going to choose this one here. This is the default from Navisworks uh, or not Navisworks, CADWorks. So you'll see that the three inch is selected because we have selected a three inch pipe. Uh, the diameter of the pipe 
that we're going to be using is a half inch. I know that's way too small, but we'll get into uh, how to modify that later. Uh, and then the wall thickness is, you know, 0.0125. So very small wall thickness. Uh, so we're going to hit add. Okay. And it's going to ask us for a length. So we're going to just say uh, 24 inches. Okay. So just type in 24 and you can see that there is our support as small as it is. There's our support. Okay. But we're not done. Let's say we want to have a base support. Say we want to have a, um, a plate on there. So what you do is you click on the icon right here. We're going to pull that down and we're going to say plate. And we're going to go down to uh, just plate support. Again, we're going to pretend that this is um, out of the box. Um, here's our plates. And you can see that... Um, our thickness of our plate is half inch. Our length is five inch and our width is nine inch. So we're going to hit enter or we're going to hit add. Okay. And so there is our support. Okay. So we got a, we got a pipe right here and we got, it's a connecting to a plate and then we're going to hit close. Okay. And so now you can see in the parts assembly, we've got pipe one, I mean, pipe I and plate I, and we're going to give it a group name. We're going to put this under, you know, base supports. We're going to give it a name. We're going to just say this is BS-111. You know, right now we're going to say it's three inch. Okay. Because that's all we're doing. Translational. Okay, this is again for Caesar. Uh, you can choose between translational, an anchor, um, spring hanger, rotational, snubber, and guide. Uh, depending on what type of support you're building, this is the type you would do for Caesar too. Um, the other options here, you got insulation options, increase support size if components insulated. Uh, this is very, you know, beneficial for let's say u-bolts or uh, shoes if you need a longer shoe because it is uh, on uh, in insulation though I don't know why you would put on a shoe if you're not on insulation well you could have some other reasons but you know let's not go into there uh, bill material you know this is your sort order you know where it'll fall in the uh, bill of material uh, what type? Is it a fabrication? Is it erection? Is it miscellaneous? Uh, whatever you want to put. Um, isogen, okay, your identifier. Uh, you can probably leave this blank uh, for the identifier because it knows it's a support. But here's your default uh, supports uh, S keys. Uh, so this one here, we're going to put a duck, okay? And when you put a duck, it automatically comes in with the identifier. Uh, so you don't have to fill that out. Uh, any kind of message you want in here, uh, kind of message box that you want, uh, none, you know, square, whatever. Uh, what kind of message you want to put in here? You know, so if you want to say, hey, this is a BS11 and it shows up on the ISO, that's what you'll see. Any kind of detailed sketch. Uh, we haven't covered that in this channel, how to do a detailed sketch uh, on an ISO, but we will in a later video. So if you have a detailed sketch, you can put that right there. Uh, description. So we're going to come down. Here's your long description, your short description, a tag if you need one. You know, so if you want, you know, the tag to be BS11, 111, and we want to say, hey, this is, you know, BS-111 or... Yeah, let's say base support C CC standard BS 111. Okay. And that's what would come out on the ISO. That would that's what would come out on the bill of material. Uh, short description, you can put anything you want, just say base support. Okay, any kind of notes or anything you want to put in there, part number if you need to. And then you have help, cancel, um, save to library, or save to model. 
Okay, so if we do actually save to library, okay, do you want to save? Yes. Okay. And then we go over to a base support. You can see there's BS11. Now, if we had a selected save to model, it wouldn't have saved it to the catalog or the, the spec. It would actually save it to the, um, the, the model itself. And so, but since we saved it to the catalog or saved it to the spec, then we can use this multiple times. Now, if you did save it to the catalog, you could save that and um, use it over and over again as long as nothing changed. So when we do place it into the spec view or into the model, it asks us for dash, you know, for negative length. And the reason it's asking us for a negative length is it allow you to make that change on the screen. If you put a hard number in here, it will always hold that hard number. Um, and so we're going to hit OK. And you can see, and it's asking us where we want to put it. We're going to put it right here. And then there is our base support. And you can see we can make it any length we want to. You know, so if we wanted to make this 36 inches, we can. We hit 36, Enter. And we got a very long, skinny support. Okay. The last thing it did, and I kind of skipped over that. Let me go back. We're going to put that right there. Okay. We're going to leave that there. We're going to, you know, put that support right there. Come down. Okay. We're going to put 36 inches. And then it's going to ask us the rotation. You know, if this is a square plate, it really wouldn't matter. But if it's a, um, you know, rectangle plate, you know, like it is now, you know, it would, you know, I guess it would matter depending on how much space you have. So you can see if I rotate around, uh, that plate rotates. And so you can position it where you need to. So we're going to put it right there. And now it turns it yellow or turns it white. I don't know why I said yellow. I hope this video helps you uh, be able to build supports um, or at least have a better understanding on how to do it. If you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if there's something you'd like to see in the future, please let me know and I'll try to get in as fast as I possibly can.